Shane O'Mac could be headed to AEW. We've got a whole bunch to get into. We're over here. I'm Omar Q representing Real Take Wrestling with Kiss the Ring. Let's talk about the news of, honestly, the lifetime if it ends up happening. Jim Ross on his podcast this week talked about the potential for Shane McMahon to come to AEW. Here's what he said. Quote, <clears throat> it's so crazy that it might work. <laughs> Depending on how it was positioned and how it was introduced, well, Shane called me the other day. He called me two, three times, which I really appreciate. Shane and Tony Khan being together, how would it work? How would it work creatively? Who the heck knows? Might be great. But in any event, it all depends on Shane and what he wants to do. That was a terrible Southern accent. I'm from South Carolina. That was beautiful, man. Come on. <laughs> I was not going for Southern. I was going for JR. But that's what JR had to say. He said, look, it could happen. And if it does happen, it'd be crazy. I think we all agree with that part. But, Kenny Bomb, go first. Do you see Shane O'Mac in all elite wrestling happening? Bro, listen, I know I don't even think Brian is a Shane McMahon guy, but if this happened, I would just rub it in Brian's face so much. Like we got Shane, Mc I mean, AEW has Shane McMahon, young man. Oh. This would be crazy, man. Just remember, I think about the time where Vince McMahon bought WCW and then Shane McMahon came out and said, the name on that paperwork says McMahon, but it doesn't say Vince McMahon. It says Shane McMahon. It would be a big moment like that because Shane McMahon in the opposing brand, but for real this time? Everybody cooks Shane McMahon for the things he does. Like he beat all of these big names when he comes back, when he came back. But I think Shane McMahon is a big name, and I think he has the right to beat those big names. So I love Shane O'Mac, and I would love for this to happen. Is it possible, Omer? I mean, it would be a cold day in hell. But this would be probably what AEW needs more than a chad gable more than a ricochet shane mcmahon would be the game changer they need to get right now because i think that would bring eyes to their uh programming kiddo do you think this is possible i now own aew i mean imagine he comes out there and says that as well after what Ooh. you just said i think it's everything is possible in the world of professional wrestling um it's it's about ego and wrestling is addicting no matter who you are no matter what you do in the business once you get around it, once you're around the ring itself, I don't care if you're commentating. Shane has done it all. I don't know if you ever commentated. It doesn't matter. You want to get back in there. And especially for Shane's case, man, he was originally back in like 2003 and stuff saying, hey, dad, let's get UFC. I think that's going to be a big thing. And Wiz was like, ha, son, you're a complete idiot. Shane was doing that. You know what I mean? Yeah, Shane right. was always kind of trying to trailblaze and do crazy stuff even when he was wrestling. Look at him being sweaty. Oh, my goodness. But That's Shane rough. was always like um, out there with the original ideas. I mean, he had Rob Underground as well. So not all of them worked or not all of them were bangers, but it's something that he would do, like right up his alley. Why not? You know what I mean? Go to AEW with Miss McMahon basically being out of the picture. Now, regardless of what happens with his case, he's, he's gone. Um, the Rock took control. Triple H took control. The other con in the WWE, I forget his name right now. He took control. Excellent. Yeah, there you go. We only have Stephanie there. And I guess he could always go back to the WWE now, but if he wants to make a real difference, if he wants to do something crazy, and hey, if he wants to destroy the competition from the inside, actually, go to AEW. That's it. But why we got Kane and Donald Trump on the screen? <laughs> <laughs> but That's the next video. This, though, Shane McMahon definitely wrestles the AEW style, so they could put oh, him yeah. in the ring and he's going to survive out there. But Brian, what do you think? Oh, man, I mean, bro, whatever AEW decides to do, I don't care. That's what we wow. don't care about. You, you wouldn't care about this? Nah. This would, this so would you have... wouldn't care if Shane McMahon showed up in AEW? This wouldn't spike my interest, I'll be honest. I, I would bro, probably watch the first showed. episode and then go away. Bro, you watch AEW every week. What are you talking about? <laughs> as, a viewer, as somebody that doesn't watch it for the business, I would watch it first episode and then go away. I mean, honestly, with AEW's track record, with most in like debuts, they probably will not give us anything like too crazy. And by the end of the month, we probably won't Listen, care. But so. imagine not if they Shane booked McMahon. it correctly. Listen, I not think, with Shane McMahon. I think it would be pretty dope. I'll say that. I think it would be cool. I think that it would definitely make a. I think that it would definitely make a change. I just don't know how much of a change. I don't know how big 
of a draw this can be consistently and constantly. I just don't know. I think that I this could be huge because it would be the creators, the creator of WWE Sun going exactly. to the actual competition. So that but it has is, to be, you know, mm. that it has to be backstage point. stuff. Backstage stuff, man. Like on camera is cool, but like I want to see some backstage changes as, if that happens as well. Where Shane yeah. McMahon has some input, or like Ooh. we see a no, w take a. No. Come on, man. You don't want to rumble. The worst he needs to redeem book, himself. The worst, the worst booked Royal Rumble <laughs> ever. Arguably in history, <laughs> was, was all because of Shane McMahon. You, you don't know that. We learn lessons. We know. We one hundred percent know that. Twenty twenty two. Two of the worst booked Royal Rumbles one bad in spot. WWE history. You're right. When I, I watched that, one, I wanted it, to... It was pretty bad, dog. Just I wanted to quit everything. watching wrestling altogether when I watched that one Rumble, so you're right. But you got to think so about bad. it, though. Shane McMahon owns one of the biggest pops in wrestling history, without a doubt. When he came back for the lockbox segment, I don't know if I even got that feeling in wrestling like for somebody coming back since that moment. That was huge. No, I mean, Shane is... Shane is cool, bro. I just don't know if that is like, oh my God, that's what they're missing. I don't know if that's what they're missing. Bro, it's not, it's not, not even the fact it's that it's what they're missing. Shane McMahon is so WWE that him showing up in AEW is a groundbreaking moment. It would be wild. That that is one hundred percent. It would it would be wild. I just don't know if that's like gonna make up the difference for everything. I mean, bro, it's like the Undertaker showing up to help Cody at Mania. It made no sense, but it was cool. Like, is what it is. What if you play it on camera? What if you play it on camera like an invasion angle? Like, WWE doesn't have anything to do with this, but you take Shane McMahon and you pair him up with Brian Danielson, you pay him, pair him up with Adam Copeland if he ever comes back. Like, all of the <laughs> WWE guys that says, we just came in here to take this thing down. You don't even got to say WWE, but you pair yeah. it and sell it in that way. It's crazy. And then you say, it we have a tribal chief. It wouldn't make And Miss McMahon reveals himself. It wouldn't make sense. Boom, I, was, I was saving that for the end, Kero. I was uh, saving that for the oh, end. My bad. It would, it yeah, man was banned from WWE, <laughs> but if he comes out in AEW and he Oh, my God, thing, dude. That I would story, go that insane. Story line, what, that storyline would be AEW super AEW wins, cool. bro. Those that's ratings are going through the roof. I'm telling you. That storyline would be super million. cool if Brian Danielson and Adam Copeland haven't cut public promo saying how much they love AEW for years. Yo, what if you did like a bro, double infiltration. turn the story what do you they got going right now? Like with the EVPs versus AEW, if you do like a little bit of a double turn where it's like Shane comes out and then like the team AEW is actually like, you know, the invading force. And then it forces Tony Khan and the EVPs to reunite. Exactly. Cool. Swerve Strickland was in WWE, so he could head team WWE as the champion. No, no, yeah, he it can do a turn team. out of nowhere. Mm hmm. That yeah, turn out of nowhere. Like, like just think about it, man. Swerve Strickland is standing there up against the Young Bucks or whatever. And then he just turns around to the other side. Like I'm with them, actually. Boom, bro. Come on, man. This, this writes itself. Strickland. <laughs> this writes itself. Shane or uh, JR, get Shane McMahon on the phone. Talk about some money with this man and let's make this thing happen. And imagine if, if they have uh, bits, Imagine if they have JR on commentary while all this is happening too. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's gonna happen? Come on. Shout out to JR. Get well soon, bro. 